Hey, this is Joan Rice. I am in Gardenside today doing a Lexpert neighborhood review. I'm on a road called Traveler. It's pretty typical for this uh, neighborhood. A lot of uh, ranches on basements. There's a few split foyers and split levels as you could tell. Uh, this neighborhood, it, most of it's probably about 60 years old now. Uh, the prices for this part of the neighborhood seem to be between 135 uh, to as high as 170 A lot of that depends on if they're updated or not. Uh, the updated ones obviously, you know, go for more. A lot of hardwood floors in this area. Good quality construction. Um, garden sides actually split into two neighborhoods or two areas uh, and I'm gonna focus on this one this one's pretty much bordered between Parker's Mill Lane Allen for sales road and um, Alexandria Drive uh, one of the best features I think about this neighborhood other than its you know 50s charm is this park right here I don't know if you can see it really good but there's a pond over there pretty big pond really uh, real real gem here this neighborhood ducks on the lake uh, good place to hang out walk to with your kids etc 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 now of course some of these houses on this end of the neighborhood are a little larger uh, than where we were earlier and I'm gonna go back and and hit that that part of the neighborhood because I really kind of want to highlight that uh, middle of the road price range you know the one 135 ish 170 the schools out here are Lane Allen and Beaumont which are both located uh, gosh within walking distance pretty much the neighborhood right across Lane Allen has both of those schools side by side I think that's a real asset uh, to this area and then also the high school is Paul Lawrence Dunbar which is Probably, you know, one of the best rated neighborhood, uh, I'm sorry, best rated, it's kind of hard to talk and drive, uh, best rated high schools in town. And you can get to that real easy by going out Parker's Mill, then uh, taking that to Man of War. Here I am back on Traveler. I'm on the other side of the road. You'll notice, if I can find one that I can zoom in on, between the houses, these back up to uh, Gardenside Shopping Center something I normally don't recommend just because you know a lot of people when you go to sell a house don't want to back up to commercial so might not recommend anything on this side of the street unless you get a pretty good deal on it and just realize you know if you do you probably got, might have to give somebody a pretty good deal to over, overcome that uh, that deficiency there um, anyway I'm gonna drive on up further this road give you a glimpse of this we had a little bit of snow today and it's kind of a gloomy day. Normally this is a real pretty neighborhood when the trees are on the leaves. Uh, leaves are on the trees. Again, I'm trying to drive and talk and not doing a good job. But here's kind of what's typical of this neighborhood. I really like it. Uh, I think it offers a lot. It's been an area where, you know, there's been a lot of original owners are starting to to sell so you do wind up with some you know pretty outdated uh, houses but uh, some would argue that the houses built in the 50s are some of the most quality construction houses uh, and I think the benefit is you know you get things a little more modern features like insulation in the walls insulation in the attic more modern uh, electric but yet you know you get some of the the, the charm and craftsmanship from the era before that so there's one there that looks like it just got brand new windows since there's a champion window sign I'm on the corner of the neighborhood now and I'm coming up to a road called Lane Allen kind of it reminds me of a little country road but if I go right the, the school is uh, just on the about two blocks up on the right and if I go left you can get real easily you can get to Turflin Mall uh, which they're getting ready to redo there's a Home Depot there uh, grocery stores close by 
real good spot. So anyway, I'm gonna wrap it up. I'm John Rice, I'm a realtor with Remax Elite in Lexington, Kentucky. You can Google me, uh, Realtor John Rice at Yahoo.com. If you want to email me, if you got any comments or questions, I always enjoy talking about real estate. That's one reason I'm doing this, is because I I do kind of like to drive around neighborhoods and think about things. I've been here. Uh, well now 25 years so anyway hope you enjoy the video talk to you later